So this step of the process is uh, fairly straightforward and it's going to allow us to evaluate the progress of movement. Up here, if you hover your mouse over here and then click right and left, you can see the teeth progressively move into position. And you can see the various steps. If you go up and down through here, you'll see that we start with an initial position. Step two, which would be the first, mo first actual aligner, and progressed all the way through to the final position. This would be a, s a set of 24 aligners to accomplish these movements with bi-weekly wear. Now, one of the, the notes also is if you notice a movement, a tooth that overlaps per too uh, early or moves into each other, you can use these various options to select when teeth move. That's what these checkboxes are for. We'll go over that in more detail in another video in the future. So for now, it, so long as we agree with the alignment, we will progress from here to the next stage, which is to add buttons. But before we do that, we want to evaluate which teeth more most likely need buttons. And if we go to the beginning, we can see which teeth have the most rotation and uh, various other movements. So we're going to go ahead and plan to put buttons on these two, ro two rotated canines uh, to help them with movement for this video.